Over the last few months, the government of Dominica has been engaged in litigation in the British Virgin Islands, where it has sought to establish that in 2006, government acquired a 51% shareholding in the company Shangri-La International Development Holding Limited, Shangri-La, and that it was entitled to be registered in that company's register as a majority shareholder. Shangri-La owns the lands and properties referred to as the Layu Project. The Honorable Prime Minister gave evidence on behalf of the government in those proceedings. This afternoon, the 11th of November 2009, at 2 p.m., His Lordship Mr. Justice Bannister of the BVI Commercial Court delivered an important judgment in the Shangri-La Court matter. His Lordship held that the government of Dominica is unconditionally entitled to 51% of the share equity in Shangri-La. In ruling as he did, the learned judge accepted the Prime Minister as a witness of truth and accepted the evidence of the Prime Minister on the issues in dispute. This is a historic and important judgment for Dominica. After many years of controversy, the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica is now, for the first time, the majority owner and controller of the Lai River project. This is a significant development and vindicates completely the willingness and courage of Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt, who swore to an affidavit in support of the government and subjected himself willingly to two days of cross-examination by one of the leading commercial QCs from London. In doing so, the Prime Minister was determined to protect the public interest of the Commonwealth of Dominica. In ruling that the government was absolutely entitled to 51% of the ownership of Shangri-La, His Lordship, Mr. Justice Bannister, said in his judgment, I found the Prime Minister to be a truthful witness. He stated that he felt able to accept with confidence every answer given to him by the Prime Minister on all the central questions of fact which were within his knowledge. His Lordship said further, My finding that the execution of the transfer on 12 February 2006 was, un- was unconditional rests as much on my acceptance of the evidence of the Prime Minister as it does on the fact that no other finding would be consistent with the documents to which I have made reference. Much has been made of meetings in Las Vegas and, Lon- and London. His Lordship Mr. Justice Bannister brushed off the meeting in Las Vegas as totally irrelevant. He said neither the document nor Mr. Chasty QC's cross-examination threw any light on the issues which are for decision in these proceedings. In other words, the Las Vegas meeting was not more than a red herring. And importantly, his lordship accepted as unquestionably credible the evidence of the Prime Minister as to what had transpired at the meeting in London. Mr. Justice Bannister said... I found the Prime Minister's evidence on the London meeting and its aftermath wholly convincing. The Prime Minister and the Government of the Commonwealth of Dominica welcome the significant and historic judgment and look forward to moving forward with the development of Dominica.